What's up guys, Nick here, and today I want to talk to you about another new feature in Studio One version 4, which is the chord track. And to access that, we just hit this button here, the chord track, and it brings up this view. So what can we do with the chord track? Well, I have this simple loop here, which I'll play for you, and you can hear that nothing really changes, it's just the same thing for all four bars. And we have this other loop down here. It's a random loop that I just dragged in that comes with uh, Studio One, I believe. And it's not in this key at all. And we're going to manipulate that after we manipulate these. Um, so let's create a chord progression for our MIDI to follow. And what's great about this is that we can have a generic idea programmed and then we can manipulate it with our chord track. And that makes getting ideas out and trying out new things really easy in Studio One now. So, a handy thing to have open is the inspector. So hit F4 or click on this I here and bring up the inspector. So now, uh, if you double click here in uh, the chord track uh, window here, we'll get a chord created. Now, let's make this one bar long. I want uh, the chords to change every bar. So we'll make uh, four chords here and we're gonna change these and to change them you can either right click on each one and that gives you uh, this window here where we have uh, basic options that we can select or we can double click on it and it brings up this chord selector which is pretty handy gives us a lot of information now you see this uh, button here that I have enabled if I have it disabled and I play something uh, see nothing happens but if I enable it and I play something it's going to uh, change this chord to what I just played on my MIDI keyboard so that's a pretty great way of uh, inputting your chord progressions into the chord track um, so let's uh, let's change this up C G A minor F pretty basic chord progression all right awesome but nothing's gonna happen yet because we need to change another option and that's why it's great to have this inspector open because it makes it really quick and easy to do to do that so we need to go here to this follow chords and go from off to one of these options here and this is 80s funk bass so let's do it with bass why not and then these ones I typically find the parallel seems to work pretty good um, so let's just do that for uh, each one of these parallel and you can see uh, I don't know if you noticed but the MIDI actually changed here so let's check out uh, this instrument part here and you can see now that it's actually not just playing the same chord throughout all four bars it's actually following the chord progression that we have up here in our chord track so let's actually listen to what happens now pretty cool. Now we have this audio loop here and if we play this audio loop with this chord progression it's not going to sound good at all. So let's listen to that. Alright, it doesn't work. So let's detect the chords on this audio. Detect chords. Now that we've detected the chords we can change we can have it follow our chord progression up here. So let's listen to this again. So it fits, it fits the, uh, the loop a lot better now 
them uh, without any uh, retuning to follow this chord progression. So that's uh, really uh, the power that the chord track holds is that allows you to manipulate your existing idea and have it follow a specific uh, arrangement which is really great really handy like uh, I all this was just really simple basic patterns that were that was programmed and that we just manipulated with the chord track here so that is a really great new feature that they've added to studio one I really like it and if you uh, make any kind of electronic music I think you're gonna find this uh, feature to be really handy and Studio One 4 has ARA 2 support and I'm sure we're gonna see some interesting things being able uh, some interesting options being added with Metal Dine and the core track uh, feature so we'll see what the future updates hold but um, I definitely like this this feature that they added and you can see how powerful it is so I hope uh, you learned something uh, there's nothing really much to the chord track. It's pretty simple to use. Uh, experiment with the follow chord settings. Uh, play around with it. Uh, you'll get uh, some interesting results. And this makes, uh, if you have a sample library, if you have samples and a substantial sample library and they're in different uh, keys, this uh, will really allow you to uh, utilize a lot more of your samples uh, with your ideas because now uh, you can really uh, easily manipulate them to to fit what you have uh, going on in your song. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, post a comment if you have any suggestions or ideas for new videos. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.